I wonder, who will you be, our children? Will you love us for having created you? Will the world you build be like ours, or so different that today we cannot even imagine it? Puzzle games are, I think, the purest and most distilled form of game design. Their structure and challenges are the most clear demonstrations of why games work and what makes them fun to play. Introduce players to mechanics and how they work, and then challenge that knowledge, rinse and repeat. Learning is key to any game, and that's not just true for the Talos Principle, but also part of the philosophical edge that the game has. The Talos Principle is a philosophical, semi-open-world, science-fiction, first-person puzzle adventure game. That may sound like a lot of different genres to juggle around with, but each genre piece feels very relevant throughout. It's a really interesting angle to a really interesting story that is really good science fiction. A lot of the themes that you come across are quite intrinsic to the science fiction genre, where the nature of identity is often explored. While the Talos Principle does this as well, it does it in a way that I really haven't seen before. Instead of being preachy, cliched, or even forthcoming, giving answers on a silver platter with a nice little bow on them, the game will instead ask you complex questions directly. It then leaves you to ponder these questions on your own, in a setting and flow designed and built to connect with relevant themes of those questions. It's quite liberating, ethereal, and sometimes even surreal, like an out-of-body experience. In order to fully appreciate the game story, you will have to do a bit of reading, but hear me out. I have never been very fond of reading text logs in games, but the themes, mysteries and occurrences in these logs are what sets them apart. They aren't just dull diaries that are scattered randomly. Instead, they're all there for a reason. Someone put them there to have you learn something. I've heard a lot of people claim that the story doesn't really feel connected to the game, but I think there's a reason for that. Like the liberating design of the game and the game world, the story is there for you to explore if and when you feel like it. If the story was delivered as something mandatory that you had to experience to progress, it would speak against the entire flow of the game. In this way, I feel like the story is delivered in the exact way it needs to be. Speaking of design decisions, I think it's pretty rare that I'm this impressed with how smooth and sensical a game's design can be. I'm not just talking about the story, level, and puzzle design, but also the world you experience as a whole and the mechanics you're introduced to. Everything seems like an extension of the game's other elements, like it's relevant or even necessary. One audio log addressed the themes of the human mind being a problem-solving system is saying that we solve problems not just out of necessity, but also for fun. This isn't the only time that the game makes a connection between mechanical design and storytelling, and I really enjoy these connections. Each of these elements that are connected feel like they're parts of a greater puzzle that makes the Talos Principle such a focused yet sprawling and wide-reaching experience. The puzzles themselves are pretty cleverly designed as well, not just individually, but also as part of the world. If you get stuck on a certain puzzle, you can leave it whenever you like, and come back later. I did this on a few occasions, and it was pretty interesting how my brain must have thought of these puzzles without me noticing. I could sometimes walk back into a puzzle that had me completely stumped earlier, and then see it in a completely new light. It made me feel like the learning machine that you play as and it was wonderful. There are, of course, also puzzles that you blast through without any major problems, but that doesn't mean that the game is short. It took me about 20 hours to get through the game, and even then I didn't find anywhere near all of its secret and surprises. There's really a lot of encouragement to go exploring for secrets, and the environments are also quite pretty.
I could keep talking about the game design for a very long time. But since learning for yourself is important, not only to the design of the game, but also the themes of the game, I'll restrain myself and simply say that the less concrete information I give you, the better. The weakest part of the Talos Principle is its ending though. I really enjoyed a lot of the mysteries that were presented, and part of me feel like less would have been more. It was a bit generous with the answers, even though pondering and wondering had been such a strong element of the experience. I would very much have liked to have more things to still think about even after the credits had rolled. However, there are multiple endings, and it is very possible that the other endings may be a bit more coherent with the rest of the game. Still, the destination is only part of the equation, and the journey there was a true eye-opener. The Talos Principle really is one of those rare examples of a piece of storytelling that is just as smart as it claims to be.